welcome to day 17 of Flossy Vloggy Flossimus. My name is Lee. Welcome. This is my little corner of the internet where I come and talk about what crafty things I have been doing of late. And during the month of December, I come to you every day with what little festive things I can bring during the pandemic-y year we're having. <laughs> so, let's get to it. Yesterday, in my Advent tea calendar, we opened up eggnog. Eggnog tea. Vegan, because thank God there is no egg in the tea. That, yeah, hmm. That would be not so great. Anyway, I brewed it up and it smells like rooibos. Looks like rooibos. And tastes pretty much <laughs> exactly like rooibos. So if you like rooibos, um, have yourself a cup of rooibos tea. Eggnog isn't, there isn't any. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a nice cup of, of, of rooibos tea, though. It's tasty. But, yeah, it doesn't taste a thing like eggnog. At all. Any. <laughs> Still, de decent, cup of, decent cup of tea. Now, shall we figure out what tea we may have for tomorrow? In my burden blend advent calendar. Let's find day 17. Ooh, it's on the top, which means we will have opened an entire row. We are getting through the month, aren't we, people? Okay, I have some confusion with this name. We will, we will see. It is Cherry Cola Bottles. Spiced and tangy cherry festive brew with apple pieces and hibiscus and rose hip, and cinnamon, cola nut, cardamom, lime leaves, orange peel, stevia, freeze dried cranberry, freeze dried cherry, and natural flavoring. Again, with the hibiscus. <laughs> I mean, I got an advent tea calendar. I knew it could have all sorts of different kinds of teas in it. Hibiscus is a very popular tea. Well, we will see what I think of cherry cola bottles. Yeah. See? I'm not lying about the name here, people. I have questions. <laughs> all right. Well, tomorrow I will have some cherry cola bottles and um, we will see what I think of <laughs> that tea. Now, shall we get on to the more fun parts? Well, I think all of them are fun. But the prettier parts with the yarn advents, I think we should. Let's do that. We have Geek-tastic fibers, women in literature, and we've been bouncing all over the women in literature, women in literature bits. I, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Where are we today? A book I don't know. Equal rights. Oh, Granny Weatherwax. I've heard the name, but I don't think I've read the book. Huh. Well, I think something just ended up on my my to read list. <laughs> well, that's very, to use a different um, book, that's very Hufflepuff. Isn't it now? <laughs> Yellows and blacks. And then we have focus, 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 yeah. There we go. We have Canon Hand Dyes, Isn't It Romantic Gradient on her sparkle base. 
it, it, it doesn't like that. There we go. Now we are warming right up through some, some taupey colors here. I like it. I mean, the neutrals in many, many yarns and threads get overlooked way too often because it's just, it's just, it's just, it's taupe. But you need some good neutrals, especially when you have lots of pops of color. You need, you need to rest your eyes as well. So I really like, really like a good neutral. And this one actually has some really nice variegation. I don't know if that showed very well. Mm. I think, I think the screen is showing some of the variegation in this. It's quite lovely. A grayish taupe. And then we have Hue Locos One Pot Wonders. I almost said it backward again. I almost said One Pot Wonders Hue Loco. Hue Loco is the dyer. She does some gorgeous colors. And One Pot Wonders. And I just ripped the top right off the bag. It's fine. Ooh. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to. Yeah, there we go. This one is called Soot Sprite. Oh, yay, that's fun. Studio Ghibli there. Oh, look at that color. Look at, I'm trying to show off this section right here. Look at that, look at those. That is absolutely a fun and lovely color. There's some teals and blue and red speckles all up here and oh I I'm really liking I'm really liking this color I really like soot sprite I oh I really want to know how that one's gonna work out too I will I will promise I will make sure to make things out of all of my advent calendars. I will. Still working on the... I really hope you did not just hear my stomach growl. It was loud enough. You might have heard it on camera. And if so, I seriously apologize. Awkward. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I am working on finalizing my, my product products, projects for next year, especially with the advent calendars. I as you know, really, really, really want to start them. I will, I will. Now we have Earl Grey Fiber Company, Alice in Wonderland. Ooh, this one's a nice, delicate one. Queen of Hearts. Hey, I have two Queen of Hearts. I have one from the women in literature as well. And this is a very different take on it. I love it though. That is a very fun, delicate, sweet take on the Queen of Hearts. Oh, this is pretty. This is very, very pretty. All right, now I'm gonna lean over very rudely and grab my phone for something because I was gonna show you guys some stuff and I realized that I didn't grab my phone to do that. So uh, if I'm smart, maybe I'll just cut this part out and you won't have to see it. If not, I have to do whatever. I didn't have to lean far, so we'll see what I did. So what I did last night was not much really. I, I did a little bit of crochet on my crochet blanket. I am finding it very soothing to crochet by the light of the Christmas tree. <laughs> Turn off all the other lights and I just have the Christmas tree and the village and, and um, some lights in the, in the dining room. And I just sit and I crochet and it's so calm and peaceful. It's really, really nice. So I did a little bit of that last night, and in my stitching, you know how I said I was going to work on the right side of the house and see about, see if it getting maybe that done? Well, I decided to just keep going. <laughs> decided, I decided it needed all the walls. 
so I have finished all of the walls of the house and my plan for stitching tonight is to move up into the roof. That would be the word I'm looking for. The roof. <laughs> plan on working on the roof and that same color has a bit of window framey stuff too so I'll see about getting some of that done. It's a big roof though. It's a pretty big roof on uh, a heart is uh, my a heart's welcome. My heart's welcome by Plum Street Sampler. That's what it is. I keep calling it a heart's welcome. It is my heart's welcome by Plum Street Sampler. So yeah, the roof. That is my plan for tonight, and I'm kind of impressed with with how far I got last night. Honestly, I, I was just gonna do a little bit and just kept stitching away. Yay. Other things I'm going to do tonight, plan-wise, I um, have the next clue for my gnome is out. The next clue for nutmeg is out, and I did kind of peek at it this time. I will be finishing his body, so I'm excited about that. I'm going to have a nice plump nutmeg gnome to show you, hopefully, tomorrow. Other than that... Yeah, that's probably it in plans. So what I was going to show you is, now this is going to be a little bit rude because I, well, I have it set up. I don't have it set up. I was talking about one of the projects I wanted to start, and it was the Calico Quilt Shawl was the name of it. I could not remember, so I'm going to see if I can show that. This is the shawl I am thinking of making with the Geektastic Fibers advent. It was made for an advent calendar and it's just fun squares. So I'm thinking of making that one with the words. Geektastic. Geektastic one. This is another project I'm thinking of starting. Let me see if I can show it. It's called I Quilt 2 on Ravelry and it is a blanket. Also done with advent calendar um, minis. But I haven't decided which one I want to do that in. So I'm unsure about that. And last but not least, I'm going to be very rude and look at my phone because I didn't have it all set up like I wanted to because I'm lazy. Yeah, you guys all understand, I'm sure. I am trying to find the name and what the cowl looks like that I am definitely 100% doing with the gradient. Harton, the Harton cowl. I knew it started with an H when I started saying habitation cowl. All right, there is a picture for the Harton cowl. And I just think that'll be delightful. Looks nice and simple and nice and pretty. And um, it also has some mitts that were made with the leftovers from that advent calendar that was used for the heart and cowl. So I think it's really neat that I might be able to use much of the gradient um, minis. So those are my plans. And yeah, finalize some more advent plans knit some more on a gnome. I should probably pull out some yarn that I have stashed over there in a bag and actually knit the guy the fingerless mitts that he's been asking for for like two years. I pulled out the yarn and everything this month. Picked out a pattern with them. Now I just need to actually do it. I, they weren't promised as a Christmas gift. So at least I don't have a deadline. But it might be nice if he actually got them in the winter, if he went places this year. Maybe he'll get them for next year. Next year we might be going places. That would be great. Anyway, other things that I need to do. And yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much all she wrote here. I, I did venture out into the COVID lands today for my, my monthly doctor's appointment. So that was exciting. I, I got out of my actual neighborhood. 
got in a car and had to drive, which when you haven't done that much driving of late, it's hard to remember how to actually do the driving thing. Who knew? Who knew when you don't practice a skill, you, you lose some of it. It was fine, it was fine, I made it up. Made it to the doctor. Everything was masked, everything was fine, I'm back. Fought my way through the COVID lands and made it back home safely. So yes, I hope everyone has had a wonderful 17th of December. Whether that was today, whether that was weeks ago, whether that was whenever. And I really hope that you take a moment to sit down and breathe and have a delightful something to drink. And I wish you all the very best health and happiness. Stay safe. And I will see you here tomorrow. Thank you so much for visiting with me today. Bye-bye.